We need more movies like this. <laughs> What's up, Meatballs? Mr. Meat Hook here, bringing you yet another one of Mr. Meat Hook's shitty video reviews, where I look at the best of the worst, the worst of the worst, I tell you if it's good shit, bad shit, or even worth a shit. Today, we're going to be talking about the yet unreleased... Natasha Knight, of blood. This will be available on November 13th from SOVHorror.com. That's it you see down there. Tons of great shot on video releases here at this site. Definitely check them out. Give Tony some love. He puts a lot of work into all of these releases and I promise you he's not making a lot of money. I'm not saying that because I think that it's like reflective of the quality of work or anything like that. It's just they're all obscure releases for a very niche market and he's not asking outrageous prices for anything. He has frequent sales, so I know he's not making a lot of money on this stuff, but definitely check these out. But Natata, Natasha Knighty's Boudoir of Blood is a anthology film done in the style of USA is Up All Night with Rhonda Shear. You got your commercials for like your 1-900 sex numbers. You got uh, dating app, not dating app, but 1-800 one, uh, data mate commercial or data mate commercials. Uh, there's a commercial in there from uh, Maddie Deering from Spirit Animal. She's got her Dingo Pizza commercial in there. Loved seeing that. Saw some familiar faces in here. Rebecca Reinhardt, Dylan Von Harvey, uh, Jonathan Knight from uh, the channel B-Movie Madness. Check him out. If he does these types of reviews as well. This is a follow-up to last year's Zombarella's House of Horrors. I don't have it right in front of me or I would show that off as well. But that's done in the same style as this. This one, overall is less sleazy than Zombarella's House of Horrors. I'm not saying that necessarily is a bad thing. It's just the fact it's less sleazy. I did enjoy this overall. It's got three segments. We got The Green-Eyed Monster, directed by Jeff Kirkendall, who directed Return to Splatter Farm. That was the one segment in here that honestly I wasn't a fan of. Am I saying it's bad? It's not my place to say that. It wasn't for me. I didn't personally enjoy it. It is what it is. Then we got Typeface. Yeah, Typeface, which was written and directed by Tony Masiello. The gentleman that puts out these releases. That was my favorite one. Uh, it's done black and white. Um, I Yeah, I dug it. Tony's got a quick cameo in there. But uh, it's essentially about a typewriter that wants blood to put out a good script. Or a book. Or I believe it was a book. That's all I'm going to say about it. There's a twist at the end. And then the last one is by Ron Ford. It's called The Road. Um, I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. It was fun. It's about a lady driving on a road that gets into an accident. And essentially everybody that has died on that road comes after her. And they're trying to get off the road themselves because they're stuck on there and I guess they can only get out on a car. At least that's what I got from it. Wasn't a super huge fan of the story itself, but the gore was great given the budget for these types of things. I really think we need more of these types of releases because this is a great way for filmmakers to express their creativity in little 30 second bits, doing commercials, or if they've got unreleased shorts that they've been looking for a way to distribute and get out to people other than just throwing them on YouTube, a compilation like this is a great way to do it. I would love to see Tony put out a release like this every year. I would absolutely buy them up. I think overall, and I haven't 
reviewed Zombarella's House of Horrors yet, but I will be next. That will be the next one that I do. But I think that overall, I enjoyed that one more. But I believe I enjoyed the commercials in this one more. I just wish there had been a few more of them. I thought the commercials overall were better in this one. But I think three commercial breaks wasn't quite enough. Could have gone with some, some more fake trailers. There's only a couple of them. Whereas last time there was several more. But I thought overall the quality of the commercials in this one were better. But I thought personally the stories were better overall in Zombarellas. But I'm going to give this one on my Dookie rating with zero being the absolute biggest piece of dog shit ever made. And five being the cream of the crap. I'm going to give this three and a half Dookies. I definitely recommend it. For shot on video fans or fans of USA's Up All Night, uh, people that enjoyed like the uh, the WNUF Halloween special, that kind of stuff, definitely check this out. Again, it will be available on November 13th at SOVHorror.com. I don't know how much it's going to be. Most of the releases are $15 or $18. I'm guessing one of those two but I couldn't actually say. Might be a little more, might be a little less. I don't know. Don't be like, you fucking son of a bitch. You said it's going to be this much, and it's this much. Fuck you, you're stupid. I, I'm not saying how much it's going to be. I can only say approximately what most of the releases on there cost. But anyways, guys, until next time when I bring you Zombarella's House of Horrors, I want you to make sure that you stay cool, stay spoopy, and support independent horror. Just like this one. Support independent horror. Deuces. Restore.